Welcome back everyone, today we're diving into the dark and mysterious side of Eritrea. Buckle up because these small towns are hiding some truly disturbing secrets. We're talking eerie disappearances, haunted houses and strange lights in the sky, like what is going on in these places? It's like something out of a horror movie, but it's real life you guys. Get ready for a wild ride because we're about to uncover the truth behind Eritrea's most unsettling towns. Okay, so Town A, it's this tiny, isolated place, like literally in the middle of nowhere, and people keep vanishing, like gone, without a trace. One minute they're there, the next they're gone, poof. It's like the earth just swallowed them up, and no one knows why. Some say it's a government conspiracy. Others whisper about ancient curses. I mean, seriously, what's going on here? Local authorities have investigated, but the cases remain unsolved. Families are left with no answers, no closure, just this gaping hole where their loved one used to be. It's heartbreaking and it's terrifying. Imagine living in a place where people just disappear and no one can tell you why. It's like living in a nightmare. The locals whisper about a shadowy figure, a phantom that stalks the streets at night. They say it preys on the vulnerable, snatching them away when they least expect it. Is it just a legend, a way to explain the unexplainable, or is there some truth to the rumors? But Town A isn't the only place in Eritrea with a dark side. Let's move on to Town B, home to a dilapidated mansion perched on a hill overlooking the town. Locals call it the House of Whispers, and for good reason. Legend has it that the house is haunted by the ghosts of a family brutally murdered within its walls. People say they've seen lights flickering in the windows, heard blood-curdling screams echoing from inside. Some even claim to have seen shadowy figures lurking in the overgrown garden. But the truly terrifying thing is the whispers. They say that if you stand close enough to the house at night, you can hear faint whispers coming from within, whispering your name, luring you closer. It's a place where fear and legend intertwine, fueling the imaginations of the locals and attracting curious outsiders. Some dismiss the stories as mere superstition, but there's an undeniable air of unease that surrounds the house. Even the bravest souls hesitate to approach, as if sensing the presence of something unseen. Then there's Town C, a place where the night sky holds a terrifying secret. For years, residents have reported strange lights dancing above the town. These lights move erratically, changing color and formation. Some believe the lights are UFOs, visiting our planet. Others think they're government drones, spying on citizens. The lights have cast a long shadow over Town C, leaving residents both fascinated and terrified. So next time you look up at the night sky, Remember the strange lights of Town C. Chapter 4 Town D Echoes of Screams. And then we have Town D, a place haunted by the ghosts of its industrial past. At the edge of town sits a sprawling abandoned factory, its windows boarded up, its walls crumbling. Locals say the factory is cursed, haunted by the spirits of workers who died in a horrific accident decades ago. The factory was once the lifeblood of Town D, providing jobs and prosperity. But one fateful night, tragedy struck. A fire erupted, engulfing the factory in flames. Many workers were trapped inside, their screams swallowed by the inferno. The fire was eventually extinguished, but the factory was left in ruins. A chilling reminder of the lives lost. Now, locals say the factory is haunted by the spirits of those who perished in the fire. They say you can hear their screams echoing through the empty halls at night, the cries of the damned forever trapped within those charred walls. The factory stands as a monument to tragedy, a place where the past refuses to stay buried. It's a stark reminder that even in the pursuit of progress, we must never forget the value of human life. Chapter 5 Town E, the Whispering Woods. On the outskirts of Town E lies a dense forest, its trees twisted and gnarled, their branches reaching out like skeletal fingers. Locals call it the Whispering Woods, and they say it's cursed. Now their tortured souls are said to haunt the woods, their whispers carried on the wind. So if you ever find yourself near the Whispering Woods, be careful. Listen to the warnings of the locals and stay on the path. And at Chapter 6, Town F, The Silent Killer. But the mysteries of Eritrea don't stop there. In Town F, a string of mysterious deaths has left investigators baffled and residents living in fear. 
The victims seem randomly targeted with no apparent connection to each other. The only thing they have in common is the cause of death heart failure. But these weren't your typical heart attacks. The victims were all young and healthy, with no history of heart problems. And the look on their faces, witnesses described it as pure terror, as if they had seen something so horrifying that it stopped their hearts cold. Rumors are swirling around Town F, whispers of a silent killer stalking the streets. Some believe it's a vengeful spirit, others a contagious disease. But no one knows for sure, and the lack of answers only fuels the fear. The authorities are stumped. Medical examiners can find no explanation for the sudden heart failures. There's no trace of poison or toxins, no signs of foul play. It's as if the victim simply died of fright. And then there's Town G, a place where history hides beneath the surface. Legend has it that beneath the cobblestone streets and quaint houses lies a network of secret tunnels, a subterranean labyrinth built centuries ago for unknown purposes. Some say the tunnels were used by smugglers, others by religious dissenters seeking refuge from persecution. But the truth of their origin and the secrets they hold remains shrouded in mystery. The entrances to the tunnels are said to be hidden in plain sight, disguised as wells, cellars, and even graves. Local historians have documented accounts of people stumbling upon these hidden entrances, only to find themselves lost in the darkness of the tunnels below. The tunnels are said to be vast and intricate, stretching for miles beneath the town. Some say they even extend beyond the town limits, connecting to other hidden locations in the surrounding countryside. But few have dared to venture far into the tunnels and those who have rarely speak of what they saw. In the heart of town, H stands an ancient church, its stone walls blackened with age. It's a place of worship, but also a place of fear. Locals say the church is haunted, its hallowed halls echoing with the whispers of the dead. For generations, people have reported seeing shadowy figures moving through the pews, their eyes glowing with an eerie light. Others claim to have heard disembodied voices chanting in Latin, their words sending chills down their spines. The most terrifying story, however, is that of the weeping Madonna. Legend has it that a statue of the Virgin Mary, located behind the altar, weeps tears of blood every night at midnight. Some say the tears are a sign of God's anger, others a warning of impending doom. Town I seems like any other small town, but beneath its idyllic facade lies a dark secret. Rumors have circulated for years about a secretive cult operating in the shadows, their true motives unknown. Locals whisper about strange rituals taking place in the dead of night, chanting animal sacrifices and even human disappearances. But no one has been able to prove the cult's existence, and the authorities dismiss the rumors as nothing more than superstition. But those who have dared to investigate the cult have met with unfortunate ends. Some have disappeared without a trace, while others have turned up dead, their bodies mutilated beyond recognition. It's as if the cult has a way of silencing anyone who gets too close to the truth. The cult symbol, a stylized eye within a pyramid, has been found spray-painted on abandoned buildings and carved into trees on the outskirts of town. Our final stop takes us to Town J, home to the Grand Blackwood Hotel, a once grand establishment that has fallen into disrepair. Now, it stands as a haunting reminder of its glamorous past, its empty halls echoing with the whispers of forgotten tragedies. Guests have reported seeing apparitions wandering the halls at night, their faces pale and drawn, their eyes filled with a haunting sadness. Doors slam shut on their own, lights flicker erratically, and disembodied laughter echoes through the empty dining room. But the most terrifying legend surrounding the Grand Blackwood is that of Room 13, it's said that anyone who spends the night in room 13 will never check out alive. Some say the room is cursed, others that it's haunted by the ghost of a former guest who met an untimely end within its walls. The hotel staff refuses to speak about room 13 and the door remains permanently locked. Thanks for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment and subscribe for more deep dives into the world's most mysterious places. Stay safe out there. Anyway, let me know in the comments if you've ever been to any of these places or if you have any other creepy Eritrean towns I should check out. And until next time, sweet dreams, Eritrea is intense. Like, I knew there were creepy places in the world, but this is next level.